Hey, Bristol London Road. Did you know that two homes in your neighborhood sold for $100,000 less than the asking price in the month of May? I'm Darcy Toombs, broker and team leader with Toombs Team at Coldwell Banker, the Real Estate Center, and this is your May 2023 sold report for Bristol London Road. Before we start, I want to say thank you to Maiden Mexico for allowing us to film today in their private dining room at 179 Main Street South in Newmarket. If you haven't been here before, this is an amazing family-friendly restaurant that serves authentic Mexican cuisine and many amazing drinks with or without tequila. My go-to option for eating here is definitely the chicken chimichanga, but be forewarned, this thing is huge, so come hungry. As for drinks, it's got to be the Lime Bulldog. If you know, you know. Right, there were 17 sales in the month of May in your neighborhood. Three of those were condo sales, all at 155 Main Street North. Ranging from $571,000 for a one-bed, one-bathroom unit on the third floor to $690,000 for a two-bedroom, two-bath on the second floor. The other 14 were freehold sales, with only one semi-detached home sale on Longford Drive, which sold for $855,000. And that home did not have a basement apartment. 13 were detached homes, ranging in price from $850,000 for a fixer-upper bungalow on Old Main Street North to a million five forty-five for a large four bedroom on Billings Crescent. More on that one later. Eight of the sales were at or above the asking price with one home on Hillview Drive on a 60 by 198 foot lot selling for 121% of asking. While two of the sales sold for well under the asking price. A four bedroom detached home on Dorchester sold for 99,000 below asking. And that four bedroom home on Billings that I mentioned before, it sold for 105,000 below the asking price. Some other points I want to discuss is inventory still remains very low in the community, but at the beginning of June, we did start to see a slight uptick in the number of active listings. At the time of filming, there was 13 active listings in the community. There was one condo, four semi-detached and eight detached homes for sale. I am expecting to see inventory start to grow as we inch into the summer months and the Bank of Canada interest rate announcement on June 7th is certainly going to have a negative effect on the purchasing power of buyers. However, the slow growth in inventory will likely only cause a slight decrease in average prices. But the fact remains that inventory is far too low for there to be a significant change in property values. But by the way, at the end of the month of May, active listings were still at a record low for the month of May. All right, if you have any questions or comments about anything you've heard today, reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. And if you're a homeowner and you'd like to get an idea on how much your home is worth in today's market, reach out to us. We'd love to set up a complimentary home evaluation to give you a realistic idea on how much your home is worth today. Go to tombs.team value for more information. We'll see you next month.